My name is Sarah and I'm from Sweden. I like teaching because I really love it when my students don't start out speaking really good English, but then after a while when I teach them more stuff, I really like it to see them start to speak. They get more brave and it's really nice. I think the best way to study English is through reading. Uh, I read a lot when I was younger and some people say they don't like to read, but it's my favorite thing. And I learn, you learn a lot of words that way. It would be someone who really wants to learn English. I think a lot of people think that through their job or their boss, they just have to learn it, but they're not really that motivated. So I would definitely say someone who enjoys the language. Maybe they even like British American culture. That kind of person is my ideal student. The worst student, that's hard to say. I haven't had a lot of bad students so far, but maybe someone who's really uninspired when you can feel that they don't want to be there. They don't really want to learn English. Someone else forced them to learn English. You don't really want to teach someone like that. Yeah, I do. I think it's really nice because I love languages. So teaching English is some of the things I like the most. I speak uh, on native level, I speak English, Swedish, Norwegian, and I'm also intermediate in Korean, Japanese, and French. I'd classify myself as a native English speaker, but technically I was born in Sweden. I learned English through reading. <laughs> That's why I said I think it's the best way to learn. I read all the time and I love English. I would learn difficult words. I read uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, for example, when I was really young. And when I didn't understand something, I'd look up the words. So that's how I learned it the most. And I spoke to a lot of British and American friends. So I, I practiced that a lot. I actually prefer British, but I tend to use a more Americanized kind of English because it's easier for me to use for some reason. But British sounds the best, I think. Yeah, um, hello, my name's Sarah. I'm from Sweden. How are you? My hobbies are uh, video games, reading, uh, learning languages, uh, acting, dancing, Music. I love singing as well. I've been to all the countries around Scandinavia and the Nordic countries. I've also been to Turkey, Greece, France, America, uh, and the UK. And now also Korea, Japan, and Hong Kong. So my name is Fanny. I'm 29 years old and I come from Belgium. I love teaching because I like sharing and because I like passing on my knowledge and because I like teenagers, I guess, because I usually teach teenagers and I love interacting with them um, because I love English. I think English is a beautiful language. So, Well, don't first, don't get discouraged because it can be hard at times. Because we always say, for some reason, people always say that English is a, an easy language. I don't think it's that easy. So motivation, don't get discouraged and um, try to um, surround yourself with English. Like um, try to talk to um, English speakers, try to listen to the radio, try to watch TV. Just try to create an English speaking environment. I think that's the best piece of advice I could give. An ideal student would be um, a student who understands pretty quickly and who asks questions, who is interested, who is motivated. Um, yeah. Um, I've lived in Germany for a year when I was a student. I've lived and worked in Dublin, Ireland. 
Um, I've been to the UK many times because my father's British. Um, and that's it, of course. I mean, the France, Italy, a lot of European countries on a regular basis, actually. I go to France on a regular basis. I spend usually spend my summers in Spain. Um, I go to Italy as well very often. I speak um, French, English, German and Italian. <laughs> French. I just felt it. I don't know how else to explain it. I basically studied conference interpreting, so I was an interpreter and I wasn't satisfied for some reason and I really wanted to try teaching. I, do, I don't know why, it just, even when I was a child, like I used to play with a blackboard and, you know, pretend that I was a teacher. So I really wanted to try, so I did. And the first time I was in a classroom, I think it took me about 10 minutes to realize that that's what I wanted to do. Do you have any question for her? I'll only tell you. Oh. Okay, look at the camera, look at me. <laughs> How old do you think she is? 19. 25. Oh my gosh. 17. <laughs> All right, look at me. Uh, many people want to know, how old are you? I'm 25 years old. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Just name and age. Okay, my name is Fanny and I'm 29 years old. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Belgium. You're, you're two uh, tense. Sorry. Relax. What? You're too tense. Oh, I'm sorry. Relax. Yeah, yeah, Relax. okay, this okay. Is casual. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Belgium. Can you give me a 30 second answer? A 30 second answer? Where are you from? I'm from Belgium. That's it? Well. Okay. Then introduce yourself. Name, age. Yeah. Are you comfortable saying your age? Sure. Name, age, and from Belgium. Okay. Introduce yourself. Okay. So my name is Fanny. I'm 29 years old and I come from Belgium. Okay. 